whether you're from my home state of Ohio or Chris's home state of New Jersey, do not be stuck in a state of denial. Understanding the implications in today's resolution represents the safety of the American constituents. That is why I urge you to affirm today's resolution that having government regulation on social media does more good than harm for one reason, and that is terrorism. The current status quo of social media promotes an idea of terrorism, which is not only unacceptable, but absolutely dangerous. Like an article in the BBC said, for many, it's virtually impossible to live without the internet. Given the prevalence of the internet in today's social culture, it's easy to lose track of how much time we spend online. That, and that has become so extreme that it leads to people believing that we literally cannot believe without the internet. That is why today I'm taking the time to address the fact that we as a community should spend less time on the internet. If we don't reduce our screen time, we'll be seeing some devastating consequences, being that we forget about our self-esteem and they're destroyed, we forget about the world around us and some of our manners. The first thing is that the internet is destroying our confidence and our self-esteem. Do you want your First Amendment rights stripped away by the government? Through social media regulation, the government is disregarding your First Amendment right by limiting what you say on social media based on what they like or dislike. Although there are many issues about social media regulation, the first one I'll be talking about is why the government will have too much power if these regulations are in place. Afrophobia, Hinduphobia, Islamophobia. This list of fear continues on, but why? Unfortunately, many government organizations are swayed by this prejudiced way of thinking, and we see this all too often on our social media websites. For this reason, government regulation of social media does more harm than good, because governments can censor what you see on social media for their benefit, and governments can use it to harm minority groups. First, countries can limit and control everything that people say on social media. This is because the laws that are created regarding social media regulation can be vague. This is seen with China's regulations. Imagine a world where your mom doesn't say, Bob, get off your computer. Close your eyes and visualize, visualize a world where parents don't interrupt your game every five minutes. If there was just a way to convince parents that video games aren't as bad as they seem, I believe that video games can actually make you smarter. A video game can make individuals smarter by improving their reading abilities and enhancing their problem-solving skills. <laughs>